I have great news for EB1A cases. The most awaited decision from the Supreme Court is out now. Yes, the court has overturned the Chevron deference, which may have a positive impact on EB1A cases. Are you curious about how and why? Let me explain. First of all, you might wonder what Chevron deference even is. Let me break it down for you. Now, Chevron deference involves the principle that the federal courts defer to the interpretation of the law by federal agencies when it is deemed reasonable. Now, in simple terms, if a dispute arises regarding the decisions made by a federal agencies, the company or person affected by it might defend the agency's decision in federal court. To resolve this issue, the federal court reviews the law made by Congress. If the law is clear, the agency must follow the law. But if the law has one or more reasonable interpretations, then the federal court agrees with the interpretation of the law made by the federal agencies as they are experts in their own administrative matters. Now, the big news is that Supreme Court has overruled Chevron deference. So based on this decision, when a law is unclear, the courts should not automatically follow how a government agency interprets that law. This means that the courts must take into account their own decisions to check if the agency is working within the powers given to them by the law. Wait, coming to the topic though, these changes could hold some promise for the EB1A applicants. Do you want to know how? Well, let me explain that. Uh, assume that a person named Rina meets about three EB1A criteria but got denied in the final merits determination and the reasons for the denial are not entirely convincing really. And this happens a lot. Trust me, looking at all these cases over several years now, it happens a ton. Now, she may appeal to the federal court to review the USCIS's decision. Typically, USCIS relies on Chevron deference to make a final merits determination. With the Chevron deference overruled, the federal court will not automatically accept the USCIS's decision, which implies that Rena's case will be reviewed independently. Now, this independent review could potentially result in a favorable outcome for Rena's case as well. The other advantage, though, is that as the Chevron difference is overturned, this creates pressure on USCIS to be more conscientious and fair in making EB1A final merits determination decisions as well. Now, that's it, folks. It takes a lot of effort to make this video. So if you have any questions related to the EB1A or any topic immigration related, feel free to comment below. We are happy to help you on your immigration journey. And I would really, really appreciate if you do something that takes you nothing. That is hit the like button if you find these videos helpful. And please, please subscribe to the Smart Green Card channel for more such videos. We release videos every single day to help people like you improve their profiles and shoot for that coveted EB1 and get rid of this ridiculous 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 year wait, God knows how many years wait that you have. Why go there when you can actually build your profiles really well and shoot for the EB1 and that is my mission. I want to get you to convince yourself that EB1A is a possibility for you. Whether you take the smart green card program or not, that's a different story. But I want you to dream about the EB1A and work super hard for it because it is worth it regardless of if you take our program or not. So, but one way to freely accept a lot of content that will help you make a lot of informed choices is subscribe to this channel and please, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this is Simon Shetty signing off. Peace.